everybody what is going on it is done bar snack bar with some more madden 25 of course we've got some teddy crocker coming your way i'm hoping i can get through this video just fine i've just started to feel better and the last couple days i've been trying to do videos and i just keep coughing so i just hope it doesn't happen in this video anyway so i am going to be on the treadmill again for this one it seemed to work out pretty well for me last time so i'm hoping that in this game too it's going to work out for me as well. So it is going to be the Falcons and the Green Bay Packers in this one. We still have the one loss on the season to the Bears. So Aaron Rodgers really didn't have too good of a game uh, in the last one, throwing two interceptions. So it really fell upon Teddy Crocker in the second half to make sure that you know, we had some offense going. So, of course, we start off with the pass. Pick up nine yards. Now we're going to be going to Teddy Crocker for the first rush of the game. Really good opening right there in the middle. Just run forward to be able to get a few yards, but of course enough to get the first down. So I'm trying to mix it up here at the beginning of the game. I want to make sure, though, that I don't stick with just uh, the running game on first down because I do want to make sure that I throw the computer off. Really don't try to form any tendencies. And that's something you never want to do. I mean, you want to be as random as possible here uh, whenever you're playing any sports game for that matter. So, at least, uh, you know, the less predictable you are, the better. And that's what I'm hoping to do. Second and one now going to be running to the right side here with Teddy Crocker. Very stacked in the middle. And that works out very well for me. Cutting in with the juke, that one move is going to allow me to get to the three-yard line first and goal. That is the second rush. And, of course, that's going to be the biggest one of the game. All right. So, just trying to go off to the side again. Really well defended by the Falcons on this one. So I'm going to try to see if I can go with a pass. Teddy Crocker going out on the wheel. Aaron Rodgers really could have gone the quick throw over to Teddy Crocker. I would have gotten a touchdown. But instead, he's going to get sacked, loses five yards. And now we're looking at third and goal. Going to be going with a play kind of similar uh, to what we did. Cobb with the catch, getting into the end zone for the touchdown. So Teddy not getting the first touchdown. But that's okay. We've still got plenty of time left to go. I like to be able to get, get at least one touchdown a game and 100 yards. You guys know the drill. I mean, you guys know where I set the standard for Teddy Crocker. So with that one run, though, I've gotten a quarter of the yards that I wanted to have here in this game, in just any game for that matter. But 7 to nothing here. We'll see if the defense of the Packers hold. They don't. Game's back tied at 7. We're in the second quarter. That first quarter actually went pretty fast. All right, there's Teddy running through the middle. A great move to be able to get to the outside, running down the line, tripped up again at the three-yard line. Four rushes, 82 yards. That is something I love to see. So what is that? 20 and a half yards per carry on average. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, I only pick up two right there. Ah, that's going to hurt my average yards per carry. That's all right. So instead of just going to like the outside and just trying anything, I'm just going to use some brute force running. Dive through the middle, and there is the touchdown. So... Takes a couple more rushes, but Teddy finishes off what he starts. Gets to do the Lambeau leap. And we're going to go ahead and recapture that seven-point leap. All right, so we're looking good. We've got a few good passes together, a few good runs. Actually, a couple good runs. Um, but we're pinned back here pretty close. We're on our own three-yard line. Now, that one move saved me from going from losing a yard to picking up four. I might have even lo lost... Uh, a few more yards than that. Second and six, there's Teddy Crocker open along the right side. Now, they were able to get to the ball pretty quickly to go ahead and make the tackle. Third and two, question is, what do I take a look at doing? I mean, do I run the ball? Do I go with the pass right here? So I do decide to pass because I'm going to have a lot more options. And with the way that they were lined up, too, I think that was a smart call. Cobb keeps both feet in bounds. So we've got the first down. 332 left to go here in the first half. Actually make that 310. Now that time has passed. So, Teddy, not going to be the man who gets the pass. Jones gets that one, though. Picks up 11 yards with that catch. Keep us moving down the field. Now, I'm not trying to go with anything too crazy right now because I do want the clock to run out a little bit. Because I do, of course, like to be able to get those two uh, scores in a row. If, you know, I'm the one who kicks at the beginning, of course, I receive in the second half. So, I like being able to get the touchdown at the end of the first half and then start off the second half by getting another 
good offensive drive for some points. But Aaron Rodgers is going to get sacked right there. And that's not good. All right. So the offensive line really hasn't done a great job being able to prevent, uh, protect Aaron Rodgers. And that could really hurt us. Along the right side, there is Cobb with the catch. He's been the man to go to here on third down to get open and to make the catch. So right now, I would consider Cobb to be player of the game. He's been the most reliable one here today. So I'm going to be going a little bit more with a pass. There's Nelson with the catch. Obviously, will not be able to go out of bounds. So the clock does stop. Or the clock is continuing to go. Sorry, if he ran out of bounds, of course, that's when it would stop. But there's Cobb through the middle and a touchdown right there. A well-timed play here to go with the slants, especially since everybody from uh, or all the safeties were moved up. All right, 21-7 now for the Packers. So running forward here, surprised that I was able to pick up that many yards just by running through the middle. Going to try to go a little bit to the right side on this play. Now, anytime I seem to run uh, this particular formation, the computer does a great job of figuring out what's going to happen because... You know, they're weighed heavily here uh, as far as pass to run ratio towards run. What is a smart call to make? But I pick up quite a bit right there. Second and inches. Ah, I get tripped up from behind, so I lose a couple yards, and that's not what I want. Of course, I just got to run straight forward. So seeing that the left side is going to be a little bit better than the right, make the smart call, and I get the first down. So Teddy has been the man. Now, one thing that you may have noticed is Aaron Rodgers is not in right now. Aaron Rodgers ended up getting injured, and he's going to be out for the rest of the game. So Coleman is the quarterback, and I'm kind of going with a, a few passes here and there to kind of test exactly what he's going to be like as the quarterback. I do know that in this game, yet again, we're going to be relying on Teddy Crocker. See, that was just a bad time to throw the ball. We're all going to be relying on Teddy Crocker to be able to be the man who produces the offense for this team. So... Uh, since I do have this 14-point lead, though, I don't want to go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. What was that? Okay, you know what? Forget what I was going to say. I was going to be like, you know what? We're going to you know, try and still play a little bit balanced because I don't want Teddy Crocker to carry all of it himself. Well, we might just have to do that. So uh, Atlanta going ahead and getting a field goal to make it 21-10. to 10. Run forward, picks up five for Teddy. So... All right, just kind of changing a few things right here before we go ahead and hike the ball. What? See? I'm like, okay, I'll just test it a little bit, see how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. Okay. So here we go. Third and five. Come on, Cobb. Where are you? Oh, Nelson gets it on that one. So he'll get the first down on a miraculous catch, one that I was absolutely nervous about right there, too. Okay, less than... Uh, 30, well, 35 seconds to go here is when Teddy Crocker is going to fumble the ball. He's still celebrating. The only reason he should be celebrating right now is the fact that we retain possession. If I would have lost that one, I would have been furious. All right, got to make up for it, though. Teddy Crocker still not perfect, nor will he ever be perfect here in Madden, of course. So here we are in the fourth quarter. We're only up by 11 points, and that was just some bad running on my part. I'm going to strike that one up to being on the treadmill for that. So, uh, can't afford that right now. Third and four. Got to make the smart call. Coleman going to Cobb, of course, who's going to get to the three-yard line. And that seems to be where everybody is ending up. I mean, Teddy Crocker has made a pretty big run to get to the three-yard line twice. And then Cobb with that one catch. Again, running forward. Again, two yards. This is just reminiscent of the last time we were running the goal line set. So, 7-0-4. Left to go, and Teddy Crocker gets the touchdown. So that's going to give us just a little bit more, uh, you know, in the area of the comfort zone here as far as the lead goes. Now that we'll be up by 18 points. So it is a three-score game at the minimum. That would be if they go ahead and uh, go for two and get the field goal. That's the only way they can get the lead. So three, three possessions. All right, so they're going to kick at their 20-yard line. I'm going to pick it up at my 30 and get a pretty great run right here. Now, it's not going to end up with me being in the end zone, but, hey, they only picked up 10 total yards on that one. So we're going to get the ball at their 30-yard line. So a great run by Teddy Crocker and a huge run when it comes to uh, 
clutch here at the end of the, as we're getting closer to the end of the game. So of course, letting the clock run down is going to be huge. That's why you're not going to be seeing too many, uh, if any, passes from Coleman right here on these first couple drives. Second and eight. Wow, Atlanta really doing a good job to be able to get me behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 11. So the only thing that we can do is go with a pass right now. And the one person who is not past that first down marker, Coleman throws it to. Really disappointed with that one. But if it wasn't for Teddy Crocker going ahead and getting that pretty big punt return, we wouldn't be able to get any points off of this whatsoever. I will accept the field goal here as it does make it a 21-point game. So now it means three touchdowns is what they're going to have to get to tie the game up. Whew. All right, so I don't feel too much pressure, but Atlanta does go ahead and they get a touchdown. But apparently we did too because now 38 points for us. Uh, we got some additional points. The defense really standing top. Onside kick does not go the way of the Atlanta Falcons. So it's time to go ahead and just let the clock run down. Teddy Crocker running forward to be able to get four. Let the time go. But, of course, we've got the two-minute warning we've got to worry about here too. So, jeez. I just keep running into my own offensive linemen. This has not necessarily been the best drive for me. Third and five, I'm going to try and go with a little stretch play right here. And it seems like that, that was a smart call. I really haven't ran that too much lately. And I am tackled before going out of bounds. So the clock is continuing to go. And that's exactly what I want right here. Ooh, Teddy. Going to dive into the end zone for another touchdown today. Completely unnecessary, I know. But... It's because I want Teddy Crocker to be able to get those extra experience points. And I cannot do that if I'm just kneeling the ball towards the end of the game. So my bad. I'm not trying to rub it in or anything like that. I'm just trying to make Teddy Crocker that much better. All right. So that is going to end up being the game, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Of course, we do have to go ahead and kneel the ball. 45-17. Another big win here for the Packers. Again, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of the Teddy Crocker Teddy Crocker series to come later on, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one.